What is up guys, me luck here and today we are back in action playing some Minecraft and uh, we are playing Feed the Beast Departed. It just now released. Um, I'll eventually move over to the Curse Client, but it's not available in the Curse Client yet. They said it would take a couple hours. I was just watching the stream. Anyways, Feed the Beast Departed is an awesome mod pack. It's based around Nevermind, which is, uh, I guess, um, based off of Divine RPG. It's made, made by the same guy, but it's a different mod entirely. The last time, I don't know anything about this mod. The last time I played Divine RPG was in Void's Wrath with Cody and Joe, like... A year and a half two years ago it's it's been a long time um, yeah so it looks really cool I'm really excited about it I know nothing about it so you guys are gonna have to give me tips and tricks I've never played it before and I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of research but uh, if you guys are interested in the series go ahead and click the like button tell me down below I'd really appreciate it and uh, it would help me out so this has uh, a few magic mods I've actually added some mods I've added build craft and rail craft because um, there's no tech mods in this by default besides translocators if you include that as a tech mod uh, but uh <laughs> yeah i've added buildcraft and relcraft because i wanted to actually do like right when buildcraft 7 came out i kind of want to do a a buildcraft playthrough just like buildcraft and relcraft by itself but i decided not to do that because i heard this is coming out and i've added it to this pack that way we can get some basic automation and kind of just like have a lot of stuff to do because I want it to be a little techy. I don't want to be full of adventure, but we're definitely going to be focusing on Nevermind. And uh, we'll, we'll do some Buildcraft and Railcraft stuff too to help automation and make our survival experience just better. Because um, normally, the reason I, I want to do just a pure Buildcraft and Railcraft playthrough is I don't really know. I haven't played with Buildcraft and Railcraft in a long time since those were like the mods to use. Um, so, and there's a bunch of new features. I'm using Buildcraft 7 and I guess Worldcraft 9. And uh, there's a bunch of new features and stuff I want to play with, like bots, and you can automate everything with it now. And it seems really cool. I'm really excited about it. Uh, so, also, uh, I've asked a few of my friends if they want to do a server play of this. We might just get a few of the guys doing a little server play. We might build like a spawn town and stuff. Um, if you guys think that would be cool, then, you know, comment down below. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get any one, so if not, it'll just be a solo playthrough. But I think Isaac might be interested in it. Um, I don't think Bevo's interested. I'm not sure. I still need to kind of talk to the guys. And if that's the case, I'll be uploading my single player world here and, uh, kind of letting it do its thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We have this little book here, How Not to Die. Okay, scrubs don't skip. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Okay, bringing out the, back the Majora's Mask quotes. Okay, let's uh, let me let me scoot up here. In single player, reading a book will pause your game, so you're probably safe. Mostly, you can also press H by default to open up the library. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is craft a wooden sword before anything else. This world is hostile and positively infested with things that would <laughs> like no better than to eat you alive. This book will give you tips on how to avoid that fate if possible. Nah, you'll probably die many times before your journey is over. Okay. <laughs> so go craft your sword and let's get started. Um, so, yeah, and then, okay. So this is supposed to be an informational book on how to go through the world. Right now, it's not, it's not filled with hardly anything. Um, but eventually... Um, it's going to be have information on all the like never mind and all that kind of stuff the way you need to play it uh, There is no HQM. There's no plans for HQM So this will be like your information source. So I guess first of all uh, Let's just go ahead and so oh uh, Is it okay? No, it's not. I thought it was getting nighttime. I was like no uh, Let's go ahead and I want to keep a couple of these but let's turn the rest of this into stuff I want to get some sticks. We're gonna go ahead and start with uh, some of the tinker stuff here. Uh, there is Tinkers, and it's been um, kind of added into uh, Never... Or, well, Nevermind has added all its metals added into Tinkers. So you can actually, if we look up, uh, let's see, Tinkers Con... No, uh, Tinkers Construct here. We'll see, let's see, hopefully, uh, Void Metal Pickaxe, uh, Red Arm Pickaxe, uh, let's see, Mana Steel, so that's the Batania stuff, the Terra Steel... Uh, we have Batania, Thomcraft, and I think Witchery in this as far as the magic mods. Uh, it's a very light pack. As of right now, I'm getting 90-some FPS. I have my, my frames limited, though. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, Rose Eye Dagger. I'm pretty sure that's from Nevermind. Um, 
Lime and I, I'm pretty sure that's from Nevermind. Uh, just, it has all that stuff. So, it's definitely a viable option, especially if you want to double your ores and that kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and make, let's make some stuff here. Uh, we don't want that many. We'll make 32, sure, why not? Boom, and then we are going to start on our adventure. Let's boomy, and then I'm going to go ahead and set this guy right here. We're just going to start straight out right here at spawn. Um, also, I think there's Pam's Harvest Craft as well, something like that. Uh, let's grab this guy. Boom, part builder, stencil table. Let's make a chest. Boom. I've made these so many times that, like, I just know what it is by default. And I think that's it, right? No, we need a crafting table. Yep, we need a crafting table. Boom. And boom. There we go. So we have all the tinkers parts. Everything is good. Uh, let's see. We want to stick... I'll just stick the part builder right here. Uh, the, the stencil table right here. The pattern chest right here. And the tool station right here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That should work out pretty well. Um, so I need to build a basic enclosure. There is. We have Z-Tones. Let's see. Z-Tones. Yeah, we have Z-Tones. Actually, uh, I'm, I might go in creative here and just show you guys the mod list. Let's see. Uh, you can check out the mod list. I'll have links to that all down in the description. But let's just go ahead and look at this guy real quick. Hopefully, I don't have any crashing bugs. Um, let's see. Generation decorative blocks. Yeah, this is all... Uh, advent of ascension we have harvest craft um soul power items i think that's advent of ascension open blocks we do have open blocks so there is that that's kind of cool uh tables this is all advent of ascension stuff right here uh looks really cool runes minerals lighting realm travel okay uh farming so there's advent of ascension stuff and look all this energy weapons guns stabs archer guns tools swords bows great blades Cannon snipers. Look at that. It's crazy. Uh, we have armor, size, uh, bibliocraft, uh, Batania, buildcraft, because I added buildcraft, obviously. It's not in the pack by default. Uh, Relcraft, uh, chisel, props. We do have the props mod, which is kind of cool. We have all these as props right here. Um, let's see. Props. And then we have Encherion, which is the what the book is right there. Tinker's Construct. Let's see, extra Tinker's Items, which is this stuff right there. Hardcore Ender Expansion, I'm, I'm excited about actually playing with that. I played with it a little bit in Mad Pack. Um, apparently, this pack is also pretty hard. Steve's Workshop, Better Barrels, Witchery, Z-Tones, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty light pack, so let's go ahead and go back into Survival. Um, if the going in credit right there and show you the mods bother you guys, I'm sorry. I will not be doing it anymore. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. I'm going to gather some stuff and maybe go mining for a little bit, and we'll see how it goes. Actually, you know what? I probably want to make a sword real quick. Uh, we probably want to make a sword and pickaxe. Let's see. Boom, and boom, and stuff. Also, how often would you guys like this to be uploaded? I was thinking of doing like a three-row... Ah, whoa, whoa. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. We're fine. Um, okay, uh, let's... let's. I don't like these guys. Um... Okay, <laughs> we're going to be encountering a bunch of stuff. Also, there's Spice of Life. Yeah, we need to eat five different types of food, um, so that's going to be a thing. Uh, let's come over here. Let me let me grab the berry bushes. We're going to be planting a huge garden and that kind of stuff. Hey, chicken, are you like... No, okay, you're not dangerous. Um, let... eh. 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 <laughs> eh. 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 Oh, no, no, no. Okay, woo. Okay, so they don't seem to be dropping anything right now. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just dig underground. You know, we, we don't need to leave. Leaving is for people who don't leave. Um, that's that's a correct statement. Let's see. Boom, boom. Uh, stuff, stuff and things. And wooden shovel. Awesome. Okay, so I guess I will just dig straight down. And we will start mining and getting some awesome stuff. Okay, so I have reached nighttime. It has a, it's only been like five minutes or so. So, um... I've got some stone. I've mined a little bit. I haven't encountered any caves or anything exciting. But I figured we, since I have some stone, let's just go ahead and make some tools on camera here. I need a uh, an axe, first of all. Let's just go ahead and get all this stuff. I need a pickaxe. I need a shovel. Boom. And then I need a sword. Awesome. And you can make all the stuff, Tinker. Or they've made it so you can make normal tools and weapons so you do not have to use Tinkers. You actually don't have to use Tinkers for anything in this mod pack. And I think that's cool because it's kind of optional. It doesn't like limit your gameplay experience at all. Um, so that is really neat. So it is night. I'm not really sure. Uh, do I have brightness all the way up? No, I don't. I'm not really sure what to expect in the nighttime. But hopefully it's nothing too dangerous. Okay, we got an avoca avocado here. 
Um, okay, so I just see some chickens. I did change it so you don't see normal animals on the map, I don't think. But it looks like you can. Did I not change that properly? I'll change it later. Ooh. Um, food is going to be a problem at first. We need to, like, plant some big gardens and that kind of stuff. Also, I was just now talking to Pyro, and he said he's interested. So Pyro might be joining me for this? I think it would be pretty cool. I think a server play would be kind of neat for this. Uh, let's go ahead and turn all of this into wood. Um, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then I guess, I guess we'll just... Uh, Fill this in and start making the house. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Okay, so I've built a little surrounding thing. So I think first up we need to do is probably make all of the little things right here. And we had some blank patterns left over. I always make a lot because I know I have to do this first step. Um, so yeah, let's just go and do this. And maybe we'll start out, out with Tinkers. Maybe just make a stone pickaxe or something if stone is evil, even usable in this. If it's not, then I'm not exactly sure what we're going to start out with because I don't have any flint handy but you know we can we can try i think stone probably isn't usable which doesn't really make that much sense considering you can make a normal stone pickaxe so i don't know anyways let's just go ahead and uh make all of these guys boom sword blade um we got all of this there we go look at all this stuff look at all this stuff and i think that's everything right oh we also have all of the let me turn off any eye here we have this stuff and then this stuff ah Oh, I'm gonna die. 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 Uh, how, how can I, is it possible for me to protect myself? Eh, eh. <laughs> no, no. Okay, daybreak is dawning. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these guys. Then we're gonna make some furnaces and uh, get started with some stuff. There we go. Boom. Let's see. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. So there's two extra slots left. I think maybe that's for like the full guard, possibly. I'm not sure. No, it's not even possible to make these guys in a, with a full guard, is it? No, you have to find that, so you have to just straight up make a cast with it. Um, maybe we can find a village, though, and get that, though. That would be really cool. Um, okay, so I want to make a pickaxe. I don't think this works, does it? Let's see. Parts can be replaced, and then let's just... Uh, can we make this into a tool? Um, let's see. What else is there? We need a little binding, right? So let me put this guy back. I like to have these in order. I'm not sure why. It's just like a little pet peeve. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can just make a basic Tinker's Pickaxe here. Uh, boom. Boom. And then to boom. Oh, yeah. We just get... Yep. Yeah, so we can actually start leveling this and make it be a thing. Okay. Sweet. Um, so we probably want to go ahead and start off making a sword, too. Um, so for this, we just need a... We probably want to make a normal sword so we can block and stuff uh, right away. Also, I bet some bosses have heavy armor. So this guy would probably be really good in the future uh the rapier but for now we're just going to make a normal sword uh so this is requires a guard and that kind of stuff let's go ahead and make this guy also if you're excited about the return of a f of a freaking mod pack then you know <laughs> click the like button i mean of a solo a solo play here um i'm really excited about doing a solo play i think it's gonna be really good this is going to replace my resident rice series that unfortunately broke and I know some of you guys have a lot of questions about that, but there's nothing I could have really done to fix it. And I'm just, I'm really sorry about that. Um, okay, so I guess, I guess we're good. Let's go ahead and make a sword. And we probably want to just go ahead and make all the tools, to be honest. So let's, uh, I messed this up, but we should be able to get a sword anyways. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I'm going to just get rid of this stuff. We can repair this stuff with stone. Awesome. Uh, and they'll last forever, so and we'll get levels off of them. And I think since they're stone, they have a very low skill XP to level up, so that'll be good for early on as long as we keep like the same type of uh, tools and stuff. Let's see. So now, I guess should I make a matic or should I make a hatchet? A matic might be better, and then we we can have two and one. Yeah. So we need an axe, shovel. Let's see. So let's grab a axe. Where is to axe? Oh, we'll just do the shovel first, I guess. Let's see, shovel, and then axe, boom, awesome, and then there we go, awesome. Okay, so let's make a Matic. Uh, this guy is going to be kind of slow, but uh, we can make him better later. Uh, let's make some furnaces now, let's see. I'm going to make just a bunch of furnaces, boom. Four furnaces is definitely a bunch. One, two, three, and four, awesome. And this is just a temporary house for now. We'll make a better house, I promise. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is just temporary. So I'm going to go chop down some trees. 
and uh, get some more materials and I will be right back. Okay, so it's been a while. I've uh, been mining a lot. I've actually found a lot of cool ores, but I can't mine them yet. So I figured what we do next is make a little smeltery. So we need gravel, sand, and clay uh, for this to work properly. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be grabbing a bunch of this probably a stack of each actually How do you make grout? I forget I forget exactly how much of each you need um, So we'll get a stack of gravel a stack of sand and 16 clay or so um, And we'll we'll see exactly how much uh, we need after that, but I'm probably gonna make the smallest ah, ah I want to make the smallest uh, smeltery possible most likely I've been fighting some mobs and I've been doing okay so far. I have died once. A big giant demon eyeball came and attacked me in the middle of the night and like fired down on me and I couldn't hurt it. So we need to get like some kind of bow up and running as soon as possible, hopefully. I also need food. Um, with Spice of Life, food is kind of a problem. It's not that bad of a problem, but yeah, it's a problem. Anyways, I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm upstairs smelting the grout right now, but I figured, wow, let's come down here. I found some gold, and I'm going to show you guys the other ores I found. I actually found diamonds, too, so maybe we should go ahead and harvest those, or maybe we should wait until we get luck. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll find, uh, find plenty of diamonds in our adventures, so maybe I'll go ahead and get these. But the reason I'm getting the gold is because we need these for casts. So I'll need a bunch of gold at the beginning to get a bunch of casts. And uh, the reason I'm also not using the stone pickaxe is because it cannot mine it. Now, I did level it up, and it does have a higher mining level so I can mine iron with it now but it's not up to like the gold and redstone level yet anyways um, so yeah let's just go ahead and get all of this stuff and I'll come back and get this iron right here um, oh we got runium ore oh, we can't harvest that yet which is sad and depressing Let's, uh, let me throw down torch right here. We got some more iron. And then, yeah, this stuff right here. So I cannot harvest it yet. So I'm going to need some uh, advanced gear. Maybe, oh, I can't harvest. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. I can't get the diamond. So maybe we'll be able to make a diamond pickaxe and come back up there. Uh, go back up there and get the stuff. So we do have enough for a diamond pickaxe. I do not have my wood on me, though. Um, so maybe we'll come back and try this out. Uh, let me... Let me go ahead and finish mining this guy up, and then uh, I'll meet you guys back down here. Okay, so we can't mine this rune anymore, which is awesome. Looks like it does not come in... Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, it looks like it doesn't come in very large veins, but uh, I was mistaken. It comes in decent-sized veins. Now, what I want to know is this, if this is as good or better than this stuff over here. Um, so let's go ahead and look this up. Let's see. Limonite? Let's see. Li oh, no, no, no. Limonite. Uh, so we'll just say, let's look. So sword does 10 attack damage. And then let's look up runium here. Let's see, runium. Uh, runium cannot be made, uh, into any sort of tools. So that's good to know. Maybe it's just for other stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and mine this. We can harvest it, so it's very good. I probably want to go ahead and start making my first, uh, bit of armor and stuff with this limonite. Uh, does this actually, can you make armor out of it? No, it doesn't look like it, but you can make tools. Uh, looks like they're balanced to be pretty much the same because look 10 attack damage 10 attack damage So we'll definitely want to go with the tinkers version um, Let's go ahead and grab this. I'm glad they, they added all the tinker stuff and they've kind of balanced it out to make it cool um, I think it definitely adds a lot to the pack uh, Now what we're also on the lookout for is while my grout is smelting into uh, seared bricks We're looking for lava because we're gonna need lava to, uh, to actually run um, the tank or the the smeltery I should say so yeah, I'm gonna keep mining and digging until we run into lava and I'll meet you guys back up at the surface Okay, so we have everything we need. This isn't quite done, but that's fine uh, So the first thing I want to make is a controller uh, Let's go ahead and make a smelter drain. We'll make two of these guys for now We want to make sure we have everything we need for all the parts. We'll make two tables uh, boom, we'll make a couple of faucets here. There we go. Boom. And then now we need some glass I've been smelting some glass. I think it's just surrounding this guy like that. Yep. There we go. Awesome So we has everything and uh, then let's turn uh, most of this into bricks. Let's go ahead and turn uh, Let's see this much into bricks. Sure 16 blocks. That should be plenty um, Okay, so how we want to do this? I guess we'll just go ahead and stick it kind of like in the wall right here yeah, we'll stick it in the wall. Boom, 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 boom. And then we'll make, we'll start out with three by three. Hopefully I have enough seared blocks. We might not yet. Um, ha, man, this, I'm, I'm kind of cramped for space right now. We need to go ahead and move into like a better area here soon. 
Or I need to expand this house. I, I guess I'm just going to expand the house a little bit. What's there? There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to stick, let's see, the drains uh, like right here. Boom. And then we'll stick these guys down there. Uh, oh, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, we'll stick this guy right there. No, why? Why are you still, why you keep doing this to me? Boom, there we go. And we'll go, does the, the casting tables look different to me for some reason? I don't know, that's really strange. And uh, we'll go ahead and stick the tank right there. And then we'll surround this guy. Boom, 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 boom. And then looks like we have just enough stuff to make a little one-by-one -one smeltery, um, I think. So let me grab the rest of the seared brick here. There we go. Let's go ahead and make another one of these guys. Boom. And another table. Awesome. Yep. We definitely have enough. We have like the perfect amount here actually. Uh, where? No, why? Why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? We're going to stick that down there. That right there. And let's go ahead and make one more faucet. And we have a smeltery. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now that we have a smeltery, the first thing, I got some lava buckets here. Let's go ahead and fill up the tank with lava. Boom, boom, boom. And then uh, let's go ahead and fill this thing up with gold and we'll start to make uh, some stuff here. Let's see, not iron ore. Why did I stick iron ore there? We want, where's my, oh, my gold's right there. Okay. Uh, let's stick the gold in here. Boom. And then uh, maybe we'll go ahead and start sticking the, li well, we won't worry about the limonite right now. Uh, now I need to go ahead and make some stuff that we need. So I'm gonna grab this guy. We probably want a pa uh, a thing. Uh, we want a tool rod. Where is a tool rod? Boom. And we want to make a hammer eventually too. A hammer would be very nice. Um, so we want a hammer. Let's see, a sword blade, and I guess just like the guards and stuff we need, right? So probably these right here. This is everything we want to start off with. Um, so let's just go ahead and stick cobble right there. Boom. Pickaxe. Let's stick the pickaxe back. Let's make the tool rod. Boom. And let's make the hammer. Awesome. And then we want to make a, a, a plate as well and a tough tool rod. A tough tool rod. Uh, a tough binding. Um, let's see. We're pro Man, we probably just want to make everything. We probably we just want to make every single thing that we can. Okay, we're back. So I've made another pattern chest. I've also got these guys working. So I figured we'll go ahead and upgrade everything that's on... Um, the, the stuff so let's make some pickaxe stuff and see how good it actually makes it hopefully we'll be able to mine everything yes we got our first advent of ascension stuff this is awesome let's see boom let's just oh i need to actually fix this guy uh let me grab a piece of cobble do i not have a piece of cobble uh let's just mine this i guess um <laughs> Let's make sure this is fully repaired. Boom, it's fully repaired. Awesome. Uh, let's replace all the parts that is in this guy. Um, so let's see. Boom. And we're going to do pickaxe head. Awesome. And then, uh, oh, can I not replace everything that's here? Oh, did I do this in the wrong order? You have to do this. In oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Look at this. Nice. So it does 7 attack damage, 400 durability, mining level obsidian. So it's not quite what we want, but it's better than what it was before. And the durability and the other stuff is going to be very nice. Also, we have two modifiers, which is sweet. Uh, now, we, we just want to upgrade everything and make a hammer and stuff too. Uh, so let me stick these guys in here. And then uh, we want to make a hammer, that, that. And then I want to make sure we have enough stuff left. Boom, boom. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to go ahead and make this out of gold. Boom, boom. And then we should have three gold left, right? Or is that it? Oh, that's it. We need more gold. Dang it. Um, what do we need for... Can I even make a hammer right now? No, I can't even make a hammer. We need enough stuff to actually make a hammer. So I don't think we have enough stuff to make a tool forge either. We need... Dang it. I need six more iron. Mm. Oh, no. We got iron right here. We got iron right here. Um... Hmm. You know, I could double this, but I think I'm just going to do this for now. Yeah, I'm just going to do this for now. And then what do we need for a tool forge? A tool forge. For a tool forge, we need seared bricks and the tool station. Do I have seared bricks over? I don't think I do. 
actually what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go ahead and call this a first episode. We've got a lot of stuff done today. We made a smeltery. We made all the tinker stuff. Uh, next episode we're going to try to get a full arsenal of limonite stuff and then maybe make some armor and head out into the wild and then hopefully do some more cool stuff. I have some huge plans and uh, if you guys are going to enjoy the series then make sure to go ahead and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also I love y'all's faces and I'll see you guys in the next Feed the Beast Departed.